Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Brinkerhoff with Hair and Makeup by Steph, and I'm here with Kenra Professional, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through a really textured half updo. This style is a great option for someone who wants to wear their hair down, but also wants it out of their face. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to wet her hair down a little bit. I'm going to be applying some product on her wet hair to help it hold the curl a little bit better. So I'm just lightly misting this. Okay, and then the first one I'm going to use is the Kenra Thickening Mousse. And I'm just gonna comb this through the ends and through the top as well. Okay, and then I'm also going to go in with the Kenra Curl Defining Cream. So these two products together are really going to help this stay in a lot better. Okay, and then once I get that worked in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get this blow dried. Okay, so you can see we have a bit more texture in her hair now and some good volume through the top. I want to add even a little bit more volume up here, so I'm going to go in with a texture iron and just do this at the roots throughout the top. So just about like that. Just coming down a couple inches. And I'm going to do this all throughout the crown, about down to her parietal ridge. All right, now we are ready to start curling. So I'm going to start down here at the base and I'm going to get the roots back combed. I'm not doing the very, very bottom, but here in the middle in the back, I do want a lot of volume all throughout the back and through the top. So I'm going to back comb as I go up and then get that sprayed with the volume spray 25 and then just lightly mist it through the ends. Okay, and then once that's in there, I'm going to get it brushed out. And this will be the process for every row going up the back, the back combing, the hairspray, and then getting it brushed through. And then we're just going to do a curl with a one and a quarter inch iron. I'm going to curl everything away from the face towards the center in the back. And I'm not gonna hold this for very long. And I'm also leaving my ends more straight. And depending on their hair texture, you might need a little bit more product or you might need to hold it a little bit longer, but this is generally what you're going for. Okay, so as I start to work up the head, I'm going to section out the sides. So just from the ears forward on both sides and then also the crown and those I'm going to do at the end. All right, once I reach the top, I'm going to go ahead and let down the crown and the sides. And I'm going to start with the mohawk section. Okay, so I have my mohawk section. I'm going to start here at the front and I'm going to let down a small row. And I'm going to create a lot of volume at the roots by getting this hair sprayed with the Volume Spray 25. So I'm just saturating this right at the roots and over directing this forward. And then while that's still wet, I'm going to get that blow dried. 
So I'm going to repeat that process going row by row back in the mohawk until all of these roots have nice volume and lift in them. And this is how I like to do it sometimes through the crown if I want to avoid a ton of back combing in the crown, just to make it look a little softer. Okay, now that I have all that product in there, I'm just gonna miss some of the 25 for the ends, and then I can go ahead and start doing wraparound curls. So the reason that I'm switching to wraparound curls through the top is because it's gonna give me a little bit more lift and volume right at the root. And I'm also holding my barrel going from front to back rather than from side to side. And that's going to look a lot more flattering right around the face up here. It's gonna have a lot more wave and movement to it when you hold your barrel going from front to back. Okay, then I'm just going to quickly curl the sides. Most of the volume I want is through the top, so I'm not gonna focus too much on creating a ton of volume in the sides, just a little bit of back combing and curling and we should be good to go. Okay, once I have everything curled, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this comb back. I'm going to leave out the front maybe like two inches of her hair from her ears all the way across on both sides. And I'm going to turn her towards the mirror so I can use the mirror to shape the crown and get this pinned. So I'm basically just going to keep this really tousled and if it's getting a little frizzy, you can go in with the Perfect Medium Spray 13, and that will help a lot with that. Okay, now I'm going to just get these front pieces back. And I like to do these separate so that I can really detail them and lay them gently on top of everything. You can do a part in here if you want, or you can make it all go back.
Okay, and then to finish, I'm just going to do a little bit more detailing in the crown and with the curls down here, and then I will finish with hairspray and we will be all set.